I really like the game maker's inbuilt sprite editor that lets you create sprites inside the engine without going outside the engine. I found an add-on called Sprite Editor. It's an add-on that lets you do that same thing inside the Gido engine. So let's explore all of the features. New scene, in the new scene let's drag the sprite here. Select the sprite, edit texture here. First let's go to the selectionator here. In, you can see these four squares here. We can drag these squares around to increase the size of the canvas. We can increase on all sides and the image will stay in the center. And you can re increase as much as you want. I don't want to increase too much so I'll just undo this. Now let's focus on the tools here. First of all, we have the selection tool here. The selection tool got a bunch of modes. I can now just select one of the areas here. I just select here and I can select here. Then I can hit the deselect and deselect it and we can also invert the selection. Now the next tool we have is this one. We can, it's the color selection one. So it just selects a single color, it's got all of the modes here and we can select these guys too and we can just ch change it to contiguous or global, we can deselect and invert and other stuff like that. Next up we have the pencil tool, it's the pixel art brush that we can create pixel art with. It got two options, we got first we got jagged line remover. It removes the double lines in your lines. That made sense. Uh, like you can not create these shapes, but you can create these shapes. Uh, if you catch my meaning, so it doesn't place any corners. Uh, you can place corners when it's not on, but you cannot when it's turned on. All right. I don't know what I just said. Uh, next up, we have this guides option. Uh, kind of useless. Uh, now we have the brush tool here, uh, you can just increase and decrease the size. Uh, I'll just set it to 1, uh, maybe a little bit more, hmm, yeah that's enough. Uh, we can just paint it and we can undo it. And we, now we have the almighty erasing tool, <laughs> yeah that's just all about it, <laughs> there's nothing more. Now uh, here we have the gradient fill thing, uh, we get the bucket up there too and uh, we can just choose between a bunch of gradients here, I <laughs> never used that one though, <laughs> okay shit. Now next up we have the mask paint brush thing. Uh, it's essentially like you can only paint in area you start from. Like I started the top of the head so I can only paint there. Now if I start from the eye, the black color, I can only paint in this black one. So it's just simple as that. It's quite useful in my opinion. And this one I quite cannot use it. Uh, if you guys find a fix or uh, it's lack of my skill, uh, then just tell me in the comments because I can use this one. Uh, next up we have this one here uh, it's pretty useful it's uh, like normal painter it can paint normal so it like uh, just defines how will the computer lights interact with this I think it's quite useful in my opinion now next up we have these shapes here uh, we got all the typical shapes uh, we can select if we want uh, it filled or not we can change the border size so all the options that you could have a need. We got pen options too. And we got anti-aliasing and stuff. Next up we have the line tool. Uh, it's just the line tool. Just the line tool. The almighty line tool. Yeah, that's just all it. Next we have these transforms here. Quite useful, you can just flip. We can rotate, we can flip. Then we can just change the orientation and we can change the canvas size that's quite useful like it's just equal on all sides that's think is good we can change the canvas orientations then 
size, everything like that. At the end, we have these scripts out here. We can change the HSV, we can channel curves, then we can also add outlines and this sequence. I don't know, I cannot read in English at this point. Normal map thing and it's quite the useful tools of this add-on and I always use this but they aren't quite performant so <laughs> kinda you cannot use them at all in my opinion like these are sucks like the performance while using these tools sucks so I just don't recommend using these ones uh, the only one interesting one here is the constraint to palette uh, you can add a custom palette here and constrain all the colors to it that's the most important one rest of them are pretty useless in my opinion so yeah that's about all these things